Wow, this is looking fantastic. Okay, so this I'm sure is going to be a little bit uh, hot to say the least because it has literally just come out of the oven, but let's turn it upside down and have a look at it. Oh wow, that is looking amazing. That is beautiful. For the ingredients, you will need one sachet of dried yeast, 0.35 ounce honey, 1.1 pounds flour, 1.5 cups water, olive oil and spices. Mix the honey, the dry yeast and the warm water together. Just make a bit of a heel and it's going to be playtime with the water and the flour. Yes. Start off with a small amount, use a spoon, start getting it all mixed. Time to make some dough and add some more water. To mix it all together and then we're going to start to knead it. This dough is very needy, you know, need, kneading, needy, knead for about five minutes or until smooth. Please like, share and subscribe so you don't miss out on future shows. So just some information about bread in America. I shit you not. When you buy a loaf of bread in America, there's about 20 ingredients. If you take this loaf now that we're busy making, uh, in about two days, it'll be pretty hard. Maybe in three days, four days, it'll start growing moldy. Um, the bread that you get in America will literally be fresh and mold free for three to four weeks. I have no idea what the stuff that they had in there, but certainly cannot be good for you. So the great thing with this dough is that it is milk and egg free. There is no requirement to use egg um, or milk. So it's a pure vegetarian, uh, excluding the honey, vegan friendly. Here we go, beautiful piece of dough. Let it rest for 40 minutes. It'll double in size and we can then get moving. <laughs> this is called throwing your dough around. I have no idea why I'm doing it, but it's pretty cool thing. <laughs> cool, so now we've just got to let it rest for another 40 minutes, and then we're going to put it into the skillet, get it into the oven, bake it for 20, 25 minutes. You need to have it at about uh, half an inch. Um, it will rise uh, to about an inch, and that'll be perfect for this specific bread that we're doing. Dough has risen for the second time. What we're going to do is we're going to bring in the skillet. Put a little bit of olive oil in here. Move it around with your fingers. So the reason why we're putting olive oil into the skillet, infuse into the, the dough. And two, it'll make sure that it becomes uh, non-stick. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Just the perfect size. And then, just in case you thought we weren't we didn't have enough olive oil, we're going to then put some more olive oil on the top. 
and this oil is going to make it beautiful and delicious it is just going to be spectacular so we're going to have over ripened tomatoes and uh, olives these are pitless olives um, just cut them in half Just going to just take some crushed black pepper. Add in some uh, Italian herbs, oregano and whatever other dried green herbs that you want to put in. We then get into some garlic and crushed salt. How gorgeous it does this look. Okay people, let's get it into the oven. Wow, this is looking fantastic. Time to get it off onto... Whoa, we almost had a slippery slide. That is funny. Okay, so this I'm sure is gonna be a little bit uh, hot to say the least, because it has literally just come out of the oven, but let's turn it upside down and have a look at it. Oh wow, that is looking amazing. Ah, while I'm burning my hands. How beautiful, before the stuff falls off, how beautiful does that look? Wow. So a little bit about focaccia bread. Focaccia bread is a staple bread in Italy. It is similar to a pizza. You can either do it a super flat bread or a little bit uh, thicker what we have. It goes fantastically as it's on its own, or you can, uh, can eat it with balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil. It is just beautiful. Cooking it in the, uh, the skillet with the olive oil makes it an absolute amazing texture, nice and crunchy. Let's taste the sucker. The crunch, the olive oil, the tomatoes, the olives, the garlic, the pepper, the herbs just come together and just truly work fantastically. Let's try it with a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar and more olive oil. The flavor of the balsamic is just truly incredible. Adding this to a starter or just a um, tea, truly magnificent. The dough recipe that we used is a basic dough recipe. You can use that for pizzas, you can use it for focaccia, you can use it for any other general bread. A really fantastic recipe, super easy to make. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.